Partying like it's 1999, I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. The University of Evansville celebrated Alumni Weekend honoring both the men's and women's conference championship teams from that magical season, as well as the 2009 Missouri Valley Conference women's champs. As for the current edition of the Aces men's team, they look to give head coach Walter McCarty a belated birthday present in the form of a victory over Valparaiso, one that would halt a four-game losing skit. However, UE comes out as flat as the floor at the Ford Center with Dania Sakavich's tough two down low paired with a John Hall three-pointer as the Aces lone field goals in the first 13 minutes of the game. Trailing by eight in the final seven minutes of the half, Evansville's offense finally thaws out. John Hall gets the friendly bounce on the floater. Next, Evan Kuhlman launches from long range and hits. Then K.J. Riley cans the jump shot and Evansville is back within shouting distance. Later, Kuhlman no-looks it to Noah Frederick who cuts the deficit to one. At the one minute mark, Shea Feehan torches the twine for the trifecta that knocks the game up at 21. But with three ticks on the clock, Javon Freeman drills the triple and Valpo goes into the locker room up 24-21 at the break. Freeman. Down seven early in the second half, UE continues to dig out. KJ Riley gets the rebound and put back. Next, John Hall keeps the comeback going with the emphatic slam. Then Marty Hill defies the Crusader defense with the acrobatic layup, knotting the game at 34. And the run's not done. K.J. Riley picks Daniel Sackey's pocket. Shamar Givens collects the ball, fires to Shea Feehan, who gets the lay in to go, and Evansville has the lead. Juwan Newton adds to the Aces pad, and UE's up 39-34. However, Valpo goes on one more crusade, retaking the lead on Marcus Golder's tray. That's when the Aces reignite. Marty Hill gets the ball rolling, going three ball, corner pocket, good, tying the game up at 44. Next, Hill drives and gets the layup, and UE has the lead. Then Marty Hill completes his personal 8-0 run with another triple. Evan Kuhlman keeps up the heat, getting the one-hand runner to go, and the Aces are up eight. Finally, with just over a minute left in regulation, Shamar Givens delivers the dagger three. And Evansville goes on to earn a soul-satisfying 64-53 victory. Wasn't pretty at times. The University of Evansville men's basketball team ends their long four-game losing streak in style at home against Valparaiso. After the game, I caught up with head coach Walter McCarty as well as a few of the heroes from tonight's game to find out exactly how things were able to turn around after that really, really tough start on the offensive end. You guys get down early. The offense isn't clicking. What is it that, that kind of got things going for you guys? Because that was pretty tough first 10 minutes. They're really resilient. Um, they kept defending and they didn't let their offense dictate their defense. They just kept running back and kept defending and um, you know tremendous credit to those guys. They, they hung in there and everybody um, came in and just they were really connected and played for the team today and it was, it was fun to see that they that they didn't um, give up or get deflated and and just break um, break down. So tremendous credit to them for just being being that resilient today. When you have slow starts, I think it's big for us to know that we just got to pick it up. We got to come together. We got to push each other. Um, and that's that, that was big. That's when we got going was when we started pushing each other to pick it up and pick up the pace. So just us getting on each other and uh, pushing each other. Um, I knew energy was missing. So like my job at the bench was just trying to get my guys engaged and just pushing the tempo. And I knew that was that was only the problem. That's what we were down. It seemed like the defense really picked you guys up when you needed it most. That defense was really good. 
Um, it was really good. Hopefully we can learn from this and, and build off of it. You know, we, we, we had some breakdowns where we let guys just blow by us and get to the rim. But for the most part, guys did a really good job of just making it tough for them to score. And, you know, we, we just have to, that's, that's, that's how it has to be every night. And um, hopefully we can take that attitude and, and, and perform like they're the only defensive end each night. I think we all just encourage each other to make the right plays and be aggressive. We all know how each other plays and uh, we try to play to each other's strength. So um, just in the second half, guys got going. Uh, we made the right play and that's that's what took the lead. We started making the right plays and uh, it was big for us. Do you think that this is some a win you guys can definitely build upon considering what you guys had to come back from? Uh, yeah, uh, we got a lot of time left uh, to turn it around and be where we want to be. Um, I think we're good enough to do something special and uh, make a run. So that's big for us. We got to lock in and focus on the rest of these games, but I'm for sure that we can we can turn it around and do it. I definitely think this is something we could build on. Um, even though we're not finished, we still have more to prove just by being um, last place in Missouri Valley Conference. We have something to prove so that we could, we could be further. Um, it's, it's great to come and win. It's great to come play play well in front of your crowd, and um, you know, we appreciate them being here. So, but our, our thing is, if we play the right way, and we play hard in other teams, we will win win ball games. And our guys have to understand that. And if they don't, we'll lose. And um, it's the, the choice is up to them. Right. You know, you know, I, you know I, I, I'm fortunate. I get to pick put guys in the game and run the stuff, but. They have to understand why we win and why we lose. And if they want to win, they'll play connected. They'll play with some, some energy and some, um, some toughness on defense. And, and offensively, they'll come and they'll move the ball and they'll, and without, without caring who gets the glory or who gets the shot. So if we do those things and we're connected like that, we'll win games. Up next for the Aces is a road trip up to Terre Haute to take on their arch rivals from Indiana State Wednesday night. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.